In this video we're now going to take a look at how to deliver a PowerPoint presentation from Optivote. Just quickly to show you that we already have a class set up in the system, a list of names and handset numbers, and we've already created our PowerPoint link and set the questions up for the PowerPoint presentation. To deliver the PowerPoint we simply click on the PowerPoint presentation on the left hand side we want to deliver and then click on the engage icon. This will bring up our session setup screen. If I want to I can change the class that I'm going to deliver my presentation to. In this case I already have class 1 selected. I've also made sure I've ticked the engage PowerPoint in full screen option which will mean PowerPoint will run in full screen and look at its best. Once I've made all my selections, click go. The PowerPoint will now appear on the screen. You'll notice if I want to move through my PowerPoint I just click normally on the screen as I would do with PowerPoint. I'm currently viewing my large PowerPoint toolbar which can be shrunk down in size by using the icon on the very left hand side. This is how it will appear the very first time you use it. The slightly larger toolbar gives us access to our graphing functions and a few other things including the timer and our backwards and forwards arrows. The response counter will appear on the screen when there's a question on the screen and this will show us how many people have responded to the question. So let's take a look at that. I'm now going to hit the go icon and that will allow us now to start accepting some responses. We'll just move that so you can see the response counter. All of the toolbars are movable around the screen and the system will always remember where they were last put. This means that for example here where the response counter is covering the company logo I can move that as, uh, so as not to obscure anything that appears on the screen. You'll now see that I've received all my responses to the question so I'm going to hit the stop voting icon and we then get to see the results. These can be viewed in a nice grid format or if we want to we can view them in a graphical format by clicking on the graph icon. To take the graph away from the screen I click on the graph icon again. To move forwards to the next question I simply click on my PowerPoint and then we run the process again. We we'll click on the go icon that accepts responses from the handsets. When all the responses are in I click on end. If I want to I can also use the forward arrows and backward arrows to move through my PowerPoint. This will move the whole slide on and you'll notice I'm now working through some information slides. I then get to a slide that has a correct answer. We'll start accepting the responses, gather all our responses and we now end the question. This time you'll notice that E is highlighted in green that shows us which the correct answer is. And if I show you the graph you'll also see that column E is highlighted in green on the graph as well. I now need to work through the rest of my PowerPoint presentation until I get to the next question or I get to the end of the PowerPoint. Once I'm at the end of the PowerPoint I can close my presentation. This will return me to the main screen and from here I can now go and take a look at the reports.